A lot of you have asked for help with reading the greens, that type of thing. Promised you I had a video coming on how to plumb bob, and today, here it is. A plumb bob is an ancient construction tool. Basically, it was a weight on a string, and because gravity pulls the weight down, the string is straight. That gives you a straight line or a vertical plane. And when you're putting, you can substitute your putter for a plumb bob if you know how to do it and get yourself a vertical plane, which tells you if the whole, the path to the hole slopes this way or this way. We're gonna talk about in this video, number one, how to make sure because your putter is not made as a vertical 100% straight up and down vertical plane. It doesn't hang that way. We're gonna talk about how to check your putter, know that you're on a vertical plane. The second thing we're gonna do is talk about how to plumb bob. So first let's talk about how to make sure that your putter is hanging where this shaft is absolutely straight up and down so that you can stand behind the ball, line it up on the ball to the hole and make sure that you see the slope. Plumb bobbing helps me a ton when I have a putt that I know there's a break or I think there's a break, but I just can't tell whether it's right or left and it looks different from different sides of the hole. Plumb bobbing will help with that. Here's how to set your putter up so that you know that it's on a vertical plane. It doesn't happen that way naturally because for most putters, my Honu accepted, the shaft goes in here at one end of the head. That means this end is heavier and there's some hang and tilt and twist there. Your putter's not straight up and down. Let's talk about how to find out where your putter has its vertical plane. So your putter does not hang straight up and down on a vertical plane because of the way it's shafted and these angles. So what you need to do is find an area that's straight. I'm gonna use this edge of a building hoping the construction is good and it's straight. You could use a door frame inside your house, but that's probably, you know, there's no guarantee that those door frames are straight. I've seen some odd construction over the years. So what you do is you line up, and I'm gonna to try to get out of the way. You try to get the top mm -hmm. of your putter shaft level right on that edge. And if you'll notice when I line it on the, on the edge, the bottom of the putter is out a little bit away from the wall. You try to line up with the edge of your putter straight up and down on that wall. And you'll notice because the putter, the putter hangs, the bottom shaft is out away from the wall. So what you do, and I'm going to get in the way of the camera so I can see, and then hopefully hold still, is you twist the putter shaft with your thumb and forefingers until everything lines up. And for this putter, about right there, straight up and down the line. Now I imagine that the putter is centered over the middle of a clock face and I look when that putter is absolutely square straight up and down the line the heel of the putter is pointed at about eight o'clock on that clock and the toe is pointed at two o'clock so now if I want to plumb bob on the green with this putter I have to be sure that I set it up so that it's pointed at eight and two that way I know I found the vertical plane and the putter is straight up and down. Other th otherwise, it's absolutely useless as a plumb bob. Won't give me a straight line to balance off so I know which way to line up for the break. So now that you know that your putter hangs exactly straight up and down, here's what you do to plumb bob. So the idea is you line the top of the shaft up above the ball, the bottom of the shaft, bisecting the ball, and then you're straight behind the ball to the hole. You're looking straight through the ball to the hole. Now what happens if there's break in the putt, the cup is gonna be on this side of the putter shaft. That means it's breaking from my right to left. It's breaking this way, and I need to aim to the side where the shaft is hanging. Same thing if the cup is over here, then you need to aim opposite of the cup and the ball will break. Takes a little practice, a little getting used to, to figure out how to adjust. 
I thought a good way to illustrate plumb bobbing would be with a live putt on the golf course. Now, the camera angles aren't perfect because I'm holding the camera and trying to plumb bob at the same time, but this putt, you'll notice it looks like a relatively straight putt, maybe even breaks a tiny bit to the left. So what I'm going to do is line up where my zipper is pointed at the ball and at the hole in a straight line. Now I'm going to use my putter to plumb bob. And I don't get the angle exactly right here, like I said, but when I plumb bob this putt, it doesn't look straight or like it's going to the left. It actually looked like it's going to the right. In fact, about three feet to the right. So I'm going to set up the camera and take a shot at this putt. And let's show you how effective plumb bobbing actually is. Now this camera angle doesn't really enable you to see the hole with the camera behind the ball like this. So I put in a graphic to show you where the hole is. And I'm going to line up on this putt and start it about three feet left of the hole because that's what the plumb bob shows me. So I'm going to start the putt about here, even though at first glance it looks like it breaks the opposite way. Set up to the putt, go through my routine, start the ball on that line, and watch how much the putt breaks back to the right. Going to make the same. That's huge. I would have missed that without plumb bobbing. Going to make the same putt now without the graphic so that you can simply just watch the ball break to the right. And then, after you watch this ball break to the right, I'm going to switch back to a video of me plumb bobbing a straight putt. Putter is hanging in the center of my body using my dominant eye. This putt lines up as straight. The hole is straight in line. There's no cup hanging out on the line up, and hopefully I hit a straight putt. Try that. It works. Takes a little bit of getting used to. It's a four, five thousand year old construction method that's scientifically proven to find a vertical plane. And that's what you want to look at, a vertical plane, and compare that vertical plane to the hole so you know which way the ball moves. A little practice, a little working with that, and you may have a technique that will help you make more putts. So like, subscribe, share, comment, use this technique, and go out and make some more putts. God bless.